Alright, what's going on guys? This video is to Cobean and also to Agapron. And anybody who's remotely commented on my uh, Windows or my uh, Linux community challenge video. I gave five reasons why I think Linux has issues. I've asked the community to give me five reasons why it doesn't. Now I can give five reasons why I use it and well the comments got a little interesting. One of the videos got a little interesting. I commented and Code Bean asked me what made it consumer grade OS. Well, I'll tell you what makes Linux a consumer grade OS because the other two really are already consumer grade OS's. Some more than others um, depending on your definition of consumer. So, I'll run down the list real quick then I will get into each system. Customization. You have repositories, range of hardware. It plays nice and meets the needs of 80% of the users. Customization. The tools are built into the OS. You do not need third-party add-ons like Windows Blinds or some various type of Mac third-party add-ons. You can change damn near anything you want in a Linux GUI environment. Yes, things do have a default look. God forbid. But you can change that default look to however you want because the... OSS community realizes that not everyone wants to be the fucking same. Next, repositories. CNR, click and run. Pretty self-explanatory. All the applications you want, need, or desire for your system are through a click of a checkbox and a apply. Download, install, categorically install that that under your menus. Let's see Windows or OS 10 categorically install that video editor. Because in Windows, usually it's under some type of, you know, oh, maybe, let's see, install a game. Um, I just installed Tar Chronicles. What does it put it under? It doesn't put it under Tar Chronicles or games. It puts it under Paradox Interactive. Yeah. Nice organization. Now you can change that, yes, but most people don't, and they won't know how to. <coughs> OS X has insta installation of a DMG, which is great, drag and drop. Can't get much easier than that, other than CNR. But, the only way you can really organize stuff to make sense is alphabetically, or if you do it yourself. Yeah point in case there. Range of hardware. Defaultly the Windows kernel does not support jack crap. Windows or Microsoft more specifically relies on third parties to make the drivers work in Windows. <coughs> That's pretty much all there is to that. Um, Linux on the other hand, even Microsoft has admitted this, has a better out of the box experience or more drivers in the kernel level than you will in Windows. So hence plug and play in Windows is actually a misnomer and plug and play in Linux is actually means what it means. <coughs> Next. Also Linux can you can install it on 10, 15 year old computer and you can probably still get it to work. Windows, you might need like Windows 95, 98, 2000, ME. I hope it's not ME. Um, XP, Vista, or 7. Take your pick. <coughs> That's retarded. Whereas on a Linux distribution, you can download that DSL or damn small Linux or puppy Linux and run it on that 10 year old computer and still have a decently up to date system. That's pretty cool. That's something you won't get with Windows. Because why? Because unlike Windows, those other versions are still getting security updates. Unlike the other versions of Windows that are going out, like XP will in 2014, you're at SOL. Or you're shit out of luck. As far as security is concerned. Next, it plays nice with other operating systems. That's pretty self-explanatory. 
I can read and write to an NTF drive. I can read and write to a Mac OS X drive. Um, I can drag and drop from Linux to Windows and OS X, but I can't do the opposite. Now, Windows requires a third-party add-on. OS X, same deal. That's just dumb. Also, say you have a <coughs> computer that is partitioned already. You know, you might have installed Linux on an extra drive, or you might have dual booted already. Well, if you want to install Windows, it requires you to wipe the drive or because you've already installed Linux. Yeah, that's dumb. Having to wipe the entire drive because Windows only recognizes one thing. Windows. That's dumb. Whereas Linux, on the other hand, I can install from within Windows using the Wubi installer for various distributions. I can use UNet boot and create a USB drive and try it that way and get almost system level performance. I can double boot and Oh yeah, I can read the NTFS drives, I can repartition it without having to go jump through fucking hoops. Same on OS Day. And the last one meets the needs of 80% of the users. Unless you're in the 20% that needs specific applications, specific functions, Linux is going to meet your needs. Office documents covered. IBM Lotus Symphony, um, OpenOffice, LibreOffice, KOffice, take it back. What you end up finding out is if you switch people and people are using these applications beforehand, the OS doesn't matter. All they care about is something that works. I use cross-platform software, OS 10, Windows, and Linux. I use browsers such as Opera and Chrome because they're cross-platform. I can use them in Windows and OS 10 and Linux. Office, I use IBM OS Symphony. That's more of a UI choice than anything else, but it also works in OS 10, Linux, and Windows. I can save in one format. I don't have to worry about conversion issues, but what have you. I don't use a lot of database stuff, so hence I don't need that functionality in that IBM Lotus Symphony fits my needs. And if I'm using it in Linux, I can just drag and drop those ODT and ODF formats into Linux or uh, from Linux into OS X and Windows and click on them and hey look, Lotus Symphony pops up. No issues, no conversion failures, no weird conversion issues if I'm going from say Microsoft Office in DocX or various other Excel spreadsheet formats or um, PowerPoint presentation issues. You don't get that like you would if you were going from Office to say open office in Linux or open office in OS X. There's plenty of you know photo editing. Most people would be content downloading the GIMP. Don't pirate Photoshop. It's just overkill. Most people don't even use all the functionality that you can get out of GIMP, let alone why the hell do you need something as advanced as Photoshop? Just saying. Now, as far as anything else is concerned, what makes a consumer OS isn't any one function or feature. It's the applications. And if the applications are all cross-platform, then the OS really doesn't fucking matter, does it? Because I know that's the boat I'm in. The OS, to me, does not fucking 